Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Zach Samilia, back at you, and today I'm going to be doing another sports vlog. It's another player that has succeeded the 100 RBI plateau, and he's actually got the least amount of home runs in the combo of the home runs to RBIs. At least every hitter that so far has had reached 100 RBIs has 30 homer, 30 plus homers. We'll name them off. There's Josh Donaldson, who's got, I think, 37 home runs now with 100, I think, 16 RBIs. I don't know. Um, or 117 or some shit like that. Uh, Nolan Arenado's got 36 homers with 109 or 108 RBIs or some something along the lines there from the Rockies. And then... Chris Davis from Baltimore has is the only baseball player this year with 40 homers, and he's got 101 RBIs. But Kendris Morales from the Kansas City Royals has had a monster year. Okay, Morales is batting like 283 or 282. He's got. 17 homers, so the home run power is not there for him, but the run production has been there for him this year as he reaches 100 RBIs. Um, I'll give you my honest opinion about Kendrys Morales. Okay, Morales was looked at as one of the best hitters in the game until the year of 2010 when he had did that whole thing with, you know, stomping on home plate after he had a walk-off Grand Slam. He stomped on home plate, and he, I think he broke his foot. I don't know what the fuck this is. Hold on. Give me a sec. I'm sorry. He broke his ankle or his foot or something. He, he broke something, lower part of his leg, and he missed almost two years of baseball from it, and... He's just never been the same player. But um thing about, I think, Kendrys Morales that surprised me was thinking, ooh, he went to Kansas City, big deal. Like, he only signed a two-year deal, and I thought he was going to be really poopy. But I've actually learned he's become one of the best run production players in baseball. And I was like, whoa, well, damn, Kendrys, chill. Um, a, a notable fact about Kendrys Morales hitting the 100 RBI club is this is only the second time in his career he's done this. He did it, I think, in the year of 2007 when he had 30 plus homers. I think he had 34 homers and 108 RBIs. Don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. But Morales, he is a good hitter. He just has no speed. He's lost all his speed because of that 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 injury to his ankle and I remember the one year I think Dave Sims the um sports broadcaster for the Seattle Mariners the TV broadcaster I should say for Seattle said when Morales had a walk-off home run and he was rounding 30 he said do not stomp on that plate and of course we all know the reason why now it's because he had that horrific injury to his leg his the lower part of his leg I, like I said I don't remember if it was his ankle or if it was his foot but Morales about Morales is he's actually the oldest out of the bunch of the 100 RBI players Nolan is the youngest Nolan Arenado is only 24 years of age um I'm trying to think I think Chris Davis and Josh Donaldson are both like 28 or 29 or some shit like that and Morales is like 32, so Morales can still prove no matter how old he is, he can still hit. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Um, leave a comment or a comment below in the comment section of whether or not you agree with my theory or my statement of Morales isn't technically the same player since that injury. And if you don't know what the injury I'm talking about, I'll leave a link in the description to the, the injury that he had sustained. 
and um, I'll let the video do the talking, but that'll be the end of the video, and please leave comments below on whether or not you agree of whether or not Morales threw away his career, well not his career, but he, he just threw away his golden opportunity to become a better player than he is now. Leave comments below.